Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am Brian. Thanks for tuning in for a new video. Today, I'm going to be doing a straight pour, but I'm going to do it out of a split cup. I got a split cup from a friend of mine who lives in Canada, uh, Sandra's Creations. Um, they have a 3D printer. She printed them one off and sent it over to me. So I am going to use the exact same colors that I did in another video, except I did a ring pour with that video. So this one's just going to be a straight pour, but it's in the uh, split cup. So I'll get you down on the canvas. We'll talk about those colors and the size and what I'm going to do. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so what I have here is a 20 by 20 canvas. I'm going to need 14 ounces of paint to cover this canvas. Um, I have got... A few colors here I'll share with you. All my colors are mixed with Mix Pour from Carista Rasmussen. And you can order uh, Mix Pour by emailing Krista directly at Krista8974 at gmail.com. Um, I'll also link that email address in. So the colors I'm going to be using today are Cerulean Blue, Golden's Dioxazine Purple, the Fluid. I'm using Artist Law Flow Acrylic Black. I'm using Pebio's Iridescent Green Yellow. DecoArt 24 Karat Gold. I am using Amsterdam's Permanent Red Violet mixed with Treasure Gold Fire Opal. Makes a beautiful color. And I'm also using Amsterdam's Titanium White mixed with DecoArt's Satin Enamels White. And my flow extender is going to be white as well. Right. So folks, I got a phone call and I answered it, came back, thought I hit record, but I did not. So I've already unfortunately layered my cup. I'm so sorry you did not get to see that. Um, I need to get a different device to record my videos on. That way everything gets into the video. So I do apologize that. All right, so what I am going to do is I am going to lay out a little bit of gold here in the center. I'm hoping that's gonna give us maybe some cells. This is a little thinner than the actual paint. That's in the cups, that's all right. We shall see what we get. All right, I'm gonna layer this down in just a straight pour. Pretty cool. I wanted to make sure I got a lot of green in this because the previous, that ring pour I did, I had the green, but I missed it. It just left, it wasn't in there. So I'm going to flood my canvas around, low extender with the white.
to start tilting. Here we got the wet result. Right, guys here is the dried result I've actually put some Liquitex gloss varnish on this as well so it's gonna have some shine to it this is absolutely stunning I love everything about this I'll bring you in for a close-up we got so many cells and I love how that uh, iridescent green yellow really pops out it within all those colors you see the white fingerlings that you get from the deco art satin enamels gorgeous 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 the only thing that I wish I would have done 
was painted my edges or excuse me painted the yeah painted the edges and the sides that way um, I would have gotten a little bit more coverage you can kind of see the edge of the canvas over here at the edge there but look at this look at those little fingerlings gorgeous just beautiful I'm just in love with this piece all right everyone as usual if you are interested in any of my pieces you can email me directly at Brian's Upper Valley Artistry at gmail.com if you like the piece don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit the notification bell that'll let you know when I do post new video content all right everyone thank you so much for watching the video today I will see you in the next video have a great day Bye-bye.